Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Reacting Chill. I'm Dika. So, last time on Cyberpunk Edge Runners, um, David had decided that enough was enough. He went and got the um, high tech uh, spine thing attached to himself and went and served out some justice because some so that school bully needed to be, be uh, that school bully needed to be put back in his place. Um, after he did that, he ended up encountering Lucy. She was sort of like an underground, I wouldn't say like a Robin Hood thief, she was sort of stealing chips. And they decided to team up for, for a short period of time um, to be able to do that because of his new ability. He was incredibly quick and his perception was incredibly heightened. Um, after a little bit of a, um, no, not high speed chase, but when the tech was discovered to have been um, not stolen but missing, um, there was like a hit put out on him to all the so in other words in terms of this high tech thing was out there go recover it there was a high high price on his head and people were ready to rip it off his body but in in, in while he was doing his little sort of heist thing you find out that the you're only allowed to use it two to three times max when he goes in his full mode whereas um he was like charging up eight times a day in that day so in other words it could really f with him um but the fact that he hadn't the fact that it kind of combined with him really nicely and he was able to use it was a shock to even drop the guy who implanted it in him in the first place so just as a ruse lucy kind of brought him back to her place um and they were opening up to each other she told him about how she wanted to go see like, live on the moon i think there's a colony on the moon um and then while everything was going well these guys turned up at a house again looking for i don't think it was i think it was called the sandevistan so they were looking for that and i'd like i said i don't know if she set him up because she kind of made him lower his guard brought him back to her place and these guys literally turned up looking for it like i said there's a huge price on this tech and everyone in the city wants a piece of it so yes i want to see how poor david gets himself out of this one here we are with episode three She set him up, yeah. You fucking lied to me. Shut up. Now bought and paid for. Set my supply ghost once I put down. Oh. So this was his. So this is the one. So right at the beginning, this was a message. I think I don't know if his supplier then was his mom because she had picked this up from the crime scene, um, and he was the one that was meant to uh, pick up the product. Oh. Yesterday. What the fuck? But I just talked to her two days ago. Condolences, kid. That's tough, but still. <laughs> Don't think for a sec that makes things free and easy for you. Let me keep the sand if you won't can't pay it back just now, but I'll work it off. One gig at a time. Long as it takes. Mm. Not good enough. Shit's military great. I'll fire up the sand devastan. Bullshit. Toddler like you can't boot it up without killing it. Oh, they haven't seen him. Oh, down. Easy. You take me out on a job. Won't fuck it up. You got quite a pair on you. I'll give you that. Okay, kid. You get one chance. All right, all right. Here we go again. Kid, I owe it to Gloria. And maybe the apple don't fall far. Could have said something. Like what? It's not like I planned this from the start. Maine wouldn't shut up about his prize of Sandy going missing. Mm. I'm lying the whole time. There's probably a part of it that feels a bit shit about that. About your mom. Sorry for your loss. Oh. Mr. Martinez, wonderful news. Based on your exemplary academic performance, the Anasaka Corporation has awarded you a scholarship. Really? Now, I spoke with Mr. Tanaka and he has graciously agreed to strike several demerits from your permanent record. Should you offer an apology for details, please see. Seats every weekend. He always puts a bad stack on the butcher. 
Wow. This weekend ain't gonna go down like that. The butchers get butchered in round one. Ooh. Like a sad sack of meat. That's where you make your move. You nab the key and hand it to Dorio. His master's calling. Jeez, the bastard can't catch a break. No rest for the wicked. Data's not copied yet. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> We're blown. Target's coming in hot. Status. Just a little more. Time's up. Got it. Security's back online. Like I said, time's up. Oh, oh shit. So infuriating. I need to like drive for my life, but there's tr oh, oh. Uh, closing in on us. <laughs> oh shit. So it's part of the team now. Got some money. That's really good. It's true. This shit. Not Arasaka corporate property. You get what you asked for, didn't you? What I asked for above all else was your discretion in the matter. With your joyride puts us back at square one and Tanaka on high alert. He's already switched sites. The data's useless. Okay, switching sites for what? That's not for you to know. God damn it, man. The less you know, the less I risk. Understand this and understand it fast. I do not pay you to think. I pay you to check the boxes off my list. The middleman who landed us the gig. He happens to be a top fixer around these parts. I'm still catching feelings, son. I'm Rebecca. I hear you're joining up with Maine's crew. Maine. Maybe. What is Mr. Martinez? Hello again, Matt. Is this a good time? Pass this along to Katsuo for me, would you? Or he wants revenge. Tell that prick I'll be waiting. Ooh. I'm done going easy. Oh, and you can all kiss my ass. He's done. He ain't going back to school. So that was episode three. That was a good episode. We're seeing how David got involved with some cyberpunks, uh, Maine and his crew. They were the ones who had originally I mentioned the reaction. They're the ones who. Uh, the product the Sandevistan was meant to go to and um, um, David's mum was sort of like the contact who was getting them he even said that she was always good for the product and you know he felt 
remorse when he'd found out that she had passed away. Um, obviously, again, like I did assume, um, it was all a setup. Lucy, knowing full well that Maynard was complaining about his product going missing because the supplier, David's mum, ghosting them. And then obviously this is Devastan appearing, not only obviously when she was on the train, as she mentioned, when his uh, doctor was trying to implant it or sort him out back in his spine. Um, so yeah, you can see he was a little bit pissed off at that. Uh, that it was technically a setup, but he was able to make a deal with Maine to say, look, if I prove my worth, let me keep it, even though it is a bit tough, it was like tough luck for Maine because obviously he loses out on his product and it's, you can't, they're not literally lying around in the cyberpunk supermarket. Um, he did say, let me prove my worth, I can charge it up plus like multiple times you know, and I'll pay you back for it. And he was able to prove his worth by going on this mission, um, uh, not mission, by going on this sort of um, job with them to be able to collect this data. Um, um, and in the end, he was able to prove his worth and he also got some money from it. Um, I was a little bit skeptical as to why, I do, I do remember when he uh, beat up, it wasn't the principal, but I think the guy who owns the school. So basically that dude he beat up, that student, his father, they basically, they were, they, David has their best interests now. And they were mentioning in, I think was it the first episode? Oh no, sorry, the second episode about how they potentially, um, he could be suitable for these trials. So they were trying to coerce him back to school uh, to say, you know what, if you just offer up an apology, we'll get rid of some stuff on your record, you know, and we offer you, you know, because of your academic achievements, we offer you a full scholarship. So again, I wonder what that scenario, what, you know, where that will take off. Um, and Main gave him some good advice. He said, the only person you can trust is yourself. I think this is in relation to the fight he got into. In other words, he, he almost got killed off by that. Um, I don't know if they were cyberpunks too, but by that sort of hitman person. He's, in other words, trust your own instinct. And he gave him some good tips about having to uh, upgrade and so then that way you're not compromising yourself. And obviously uh, right at the end there, we met what Maine called as the middleman, Faraday, who looked even s scarier. <laughs> um, he wasn't too best pleased with the outcome of the job, but um, he clearly like me suggested he's basically you're no one in this town without going through him and i'm guessing if, if faraday was meant to be the middleman i wonder who the other boss is or who's the overarching person is but yes david was kind of just chilling and looking on obviously lucy and like i mentioned i think he still has feelings for her or some form of feelings for her but now he's kind of gotten accepted a new family and again this is probably a whole part of his mom's life this is how she's probably getting the money to get him into that school to get him what he needed um, not just from her normal job, but from these sorts of jobs. So I guess now he's discovering a whole life that his mother was involved in that he didn't know of before. So now interested to see where this takes him because again, he's still, I'm assuming his um, Sandevistan is quite a al high alert on the list still. I'm, I'm assuming he's gonna be coming up on a lot of points of interest for a lot of people. So I'm wondering how this is gonna go. But if you did like this reaction, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.